Hi everyone, and welcome to our QL120 series tech support video tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to manually calibrate the sensor for your black mark and gap labels. As you may already know, the QL120 allows us to print on black mark or gap die cut label material. There can be cases when we're required to manually calibrate for black mark or gap labels. An example of pre-printed labels with black mark or gap is RFID inlay. Black mark labels are die cut labels with a black mark on the bottom of the liner between the labels, also known as reflective labels. To start the calibration, launch the QL120 maintenance utility by going to the start menu. Then go to all programs, click quick label QL120, and click into the QL120 maintenance utility. Make sure to select the correct printer from the dropdown. From there, click on the Adjustments tab, and then click on Custom Top of Form Calibration. Select Reflective to start the Blackmark Calibration procedure. Follow the instructions on screen before clicking Next. Open the roll cover and press the green lever down to open the upper part of the printer. Press the pinch roller lever down to release the pinch rollers and advance the label easily. Peel off the first label exposing the liner. Then pull the material back a few centimeters and place the liner under the sensor and click Next. The voltage of the liner is now being measured. Now place the black mark right above the red light of the sensor and click Next. The voltage of the black mark is now being measured and the difference between the liner and the black mark voltage will be automatically calculated. Once the calibration is successful, the results will be displayed in green. When the calibration is complete, press Finish and close the maintenance utility. Press the pinch roller lever down and unload the label material. Close the upper unit, discard the portion of the label that was used for calibration, and ensure to cut the label 2 millimeters before the black mark of the first label, and then load the label back into the printer. The sensor is calibrated, but in order to use the new calibration values that you just created, it has to be saved into the profile. If you're printing from CQL Pro, edit the profile by clicking on the Edit Profile button on the Print Setup window. Under Advanced, select Calibration, and change the setting from Auto Calibrate to Use Stored Calibration. Click Save, and then start printing. If you're printing from a Windows application, Go to your control panel, click into Devices and Printers, find your connected Quick Label QL120 printer and right click, and then click Printer Preferences. Now select Manage Labels. And modify the profile by clicking on Calibration and select Use Stored Calibration, then click Modify. Select your label material and click Print. That's how you calibrate labels with a black mark. Now we'll learn how to calibrate gap media. Open the QL120 maintenance utility by going to All Programs, Quick Label QL120, and then click on the QL120 Maintenance Utility. Make sure to select the correct printer from the dropdown. Click on the Adjustments tab, and then click on Custom Top of Form Calibration. Select Gap, and click Next to follow the wizard. Follow the on-screen instructions. Open the roll cover, and press the green lever down to open the upper part of the printer. 
Press the pinch roller lever down to release the pinch rollers and advance the label. Place the label portion under the sensor and click next. The voltage of the label is now being measured. Now peel off the first label and place the liner or backing right under the sensor and then click next. The voltage of the liner is being measured and the difference between the label and liner will be automatically calculated. If the calibration is successful, the results will be displayed in green. Once the calibration is complete, press finish and close the maintenance utility. Press the pinch roller lever down to unload the label material. Ensure to cut the liner 2 millimeters before the first label and load it back into the printer. The sensor is now calibrated, but in order to use this new calibration, you have to save it into the profile. Applying calibration values to the printing profile for Gap Media. If you're printing from CQL Pro, edit the profile by clicking on the Edit Profile button on the Print Setup window. Under Advanced, select Calibration and change the setting from Auto Calibrate to Use Stored Calibration. Click Save and start printing. If you're printing from a Windows application, go to your control panel, click into Devices and Printers, find your connected Quick Label QL120 printer and right click, and then click Printer Preferences. Now select Manage Labels and modify the profile by clicking on Calibration and then select Use Stored Calibration and then click Modify. Now click Print. And that's it! Now you know how to manually calibrate your sensors for black mark and gap labels. For additional video tutorials, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you very much!